it's the holidays and all my pierogies and lumpias out there. We know what happens is that we overindulge and we gain anywhere from five to 10 pounds in the month of December alone. We all know that December is filled with holiday gatherings, parties, festives, massive meals, often featuring high calorie indulgent foods. And many people struggle with overeating during this time, which can and probably will lead to weight gain. So what I'm gonna to do today is give you four methods that you're going to prevent that five to 10 pound weight gain Starting with number one, and it's always your base when it comes to your weight loss, your fitness, your fat loss, your muscle building, is that you need to work out. Now, if you have a holiday where you're actually leaving the city, then the week prior, you need to make working out a part of your daily plan. In fact, you should start planning to do more. So the week prior, if you normally do four to five workouts of 30 minutes a day, maybe you should start ramping that up with the second workout or you can do a virtual workout or start planning to do an extra walk in the evening after you've eaten your dinner. But either way, the week before, do not miss. Now the day of, if you're flying somewhere or you got a big fest festival of eating or whatever it is that you got planned, then the day of, you need to try to go to the gym and really push yourself. But either way, you need to pre-burn the calories that you plan to eat. So that's tip number one. Number two is that you need to go low or no calories prior to the event to create balance for this high calories that you're going to eat at the party. Think about it. If you had $1,000 to spend, okay, you would first have to earn that $1,000 to be able to spend it. But if you're like many of the people out there where you pre-spend the money and use a credit card, what happens when you rack up that interest and you continue to do that is that you go into debt and you go further into debt, making you broke and making you not have any money. And so if you actually work for your money and you save your money and you build up your balance, then what ends up happening is that you have more money to spend. And if you are smart with your money or your calories, then guess what? You'll never gain weight and you'll never gain fat. So what you need to do is go low calories prior to the event, so if you're going to an event and you think that you're probably gonna eat about 1,000 calories and your daily budget is only 15, well, you can have 500 calories prior if you need it, or you can do some fasting techniques, which I've put in previous videos, and do the fast until the meal, eat the giant meal, eat whatever it is that you wanna eat, because you're probably not gonna eat as much as your balance allows you. But I've seen some people's My Fitness Pals when they get into those charcuterie boards, and yes, you can eat three to 5,000 calories as soon as you get into that cheese dip and all that crazy stuff. It could happen, but either way, try to fast and try to go low calories the day up. That's tip number two. Tip number three is that you need to start slow with your plate and start green. If there's salad or cut up veggies, start there. Fill yourself up with greens as much as you can before you dip into the browns or the beiges, right? So if they are serving a salad or cut up greens, just stack at least half of the plate with that. If you're smart and it's a potluck or if you're a great guest, then go to Costco, pick up a couple of those big bag kale salads and be the person that brings the healthy stuff to the party. You would, you would be surprised that a lot of people would actually be appreciative of this because nobody really thinks of that. They all think that, oh, I should be making cookies or making pierogies or making lumpia. If you don't know what lumpia is, it's like a little egg roll. So if you think that that's what you need to bring, it probably isn't because everybody's already doing that. So if you bring the greens, then at least you can stack half your plate, which is gonna fill up a lot of volume in your stomach, making you feel fuller, and it's gonna make you feel more complete, and it's gonna help you stay on track with your goals. And tip number four is that you need to fill up with fluids. So you can have diet drinks, guys. I've gone to a lot of these parties, and I'm surprised when I go to FitFam events, and all I see is regular pop. And some people say that artificial sweeteners are bad for you, but there's no clear evidence of that, 
right? These have been around long enough that there's no clear evidence that these artificial sweeteners are bad for you. Now, some people might be able to go find one article out there that said that maybe it triggered this response, but right now the Food and Drug Administrative says that it's okay to drink this stuff, to eat this stuff. Now, obviously you wanna do it in moderation, just like everything else. Just because it's approved and it's on the shelves doesn't mean that you can have five liters of Diet Pop every day. So if you are one of the healthy people that are bringing the salads, then also bring the person that brings the Diet Pops, right? So if you wanna have a pop, have a Diet Pop. If you can just stick to water, you're better off doing that and focusing on eating your calories versus drinking your calories. So there we have it. Four tips to make sure that you don't gain the five to 10 pounds over this holiday, overindulgent. Number one is make sure that you're working out. Get your workouts in prior, get a workout in the day of. Go low or no calories prior to the event. Start slow with your plate, but start with the greens. And last but not least, if you need to drink, drink water first, then go to the Diet Pops because you would rather eat your calories than drink your calories. And if you're looking to save on calories, then guess what? I put together a holiday drink swap formula. All you gotta do is go to the descriptions, click the link there, enter your email, and I'll send it right over.